click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the open chain structure of glucose and now in this topic I am going to talk about the open chain structure of fructose. So now let's get started. So friends, here we are going to talk about that is how to draw the open chain structure of fructose. But before understanding that, let us understand that is if fructose is nothing but a polyhydroxy ketone. So for that, it consists of that is multiple OH group as well as it is a ketone. And it consists of six carbon atoms. And for that, let us draw the structure of fructose, which is it consists of six carbon atoms. So therefore, I am drawing the structure in this way. That is, this is the first carbon atom, the second, the third, fourth, fifth and this is the sixth one and since I have said that is it is a polyhydroxy ketone so therefore it will consist of multiple OH group and starting with the last one that is this is CH2OH and even the first carbon atom it will be CH2OH while the rest of the carbon atoms it would be satisfied with the valency of OH as well as H over here so therefore in this case the OH is on the right hand side that is I am talking about that is carbon number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this is the sixth one. So in this case basically the fifth carbon atom consists of the OH group which is on the right hand side while on the fourth carbon atom even again that is the OH group should be on the right hand side while the H should be on the left hand side and on the third carbon atom there should be H on the right hand side and OH on the left hand side and since it is a ketone so we have to mention a carbonyl group that is C double bond O. So therefore this is nothing but the open chain structure of fructose. Fructose and glucose they both have the same molecular formula but obviously we understand that is they both have different structural formula and also that is different functional group. Talking about glucose it is a polyhydroxy aldehyde while fructose is a polyhydroxy ketone. So this is the structural formula of the fructose that is what I have mentioned over here but now let us understand that how we can draw the Fischer's projection formula for the fructose. So now let us talk about that structure also. So by taking the reference of this structure we can easily draw the Fischer projection formula for the fructose. So in this case basically we can see that is there is CH2OH which is present that is it is the first carbon atom. The next carbon atom is C double bond O. While here we can find that is the valency of the carbon is 4 and it is not having a double bond. Here basically we can find that is a double bond. So that's why we have mentioned same as it is. But here we can represent it in this manner. Where the last carbon atom it is nothing but CH2OH. But between carbon number 2 and carbon number 6, we can see there are 3 carbon atoms. So in that case, basically for drawing the Fischer projection formula, we could draw the structure in this manner where we can find 3 carbon atoms. And this intersections are nothing but the carbon atoms. And talking about the hydrogen atom over here, on, that is on the third carbon atom, here it is present on the right hand side. So similarly, here it will be present on the right hand side. Here there will be OH. Here there will be hydroxyl group that is OH group and here there will be H. Similarly here there will be OH group on the fifth carbon atom on the right hand side and H on the left hand side. So this is nothing but the Fischer projection formula for the fructose. So this is what I wanted to talk about that is how we can draw the open chain structure of fructose and that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this topic very clearly and I'll, I'll see you next time. Till then don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.